Hey guys, this is Rogue Zombie Bear, and we're gonna stop right here real quick. And yeah, so again, first time playing this game. Um, this is technically the second time now. Uh, yeah, I am struggling with the mechanics of this game. That's about it. Other than that, I'm intrigued. I'm getting kind of sucked into the story, and I want to know these butterfly effect things more. Other than that. We're going to follow this guy named Chris now. I mean... Oh, man. Look at this. Okay, found the clue. Okay. Torn up one portrait by a fugitive on the mountain dated 1998. Someone didn't want people to see this. Yeah, they tore the... Okay. Let's be done with this. Well, it's so the murderer can practice hunting and shooting people. <laughs> Duh. That's why there's a... Oh, my. All right. Here goes. What? Am I supposed to, like, pick one now? Oh, my. Okay. Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Okay. Well, anybody and their brother can shoot a bottle that big, that close. Okay. I won't shoot the <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey sharpshooter, right? Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Okay, butterfly effect update. Oh, now I'm Chris. What is going on? Yeah, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came back back. Here goes fast. Yeah, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Josh wanted us to keep it locked, keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Okay. We never did go up that trail, but I'm wondering if that would have been a bad idea. Anyways, <laughs> there's more strength in numbers right now, but I don't know who's the murderer at this point. Cause yeah, there's that wand poster, but that doesn't mean much actually. At this point, we don't know if the guy died out in the woods or. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? Okay. Hotel Santorium and Santorium. Okay. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. Mountain. 
What? What? And doesn't look like there's anything else here. No. Finally, you coming? Okay. Let's go. Because he's going to commit revenge. He blames all of you. I see how this is going. snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him, so the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends, to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Oh, we're doing the butterfly effect thing. Butterfly effect. Yep. Okay. I feel like this is gonna happen a lot where this kind of explanation of events is always gonna happen. It I mean, I kinda just wanna say this. Yeah, I get it. I get it. And I get it. Oh, Mike's new girlfriend, confident, trusting. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's an interesting. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Does she have a flask on her right now? Huh. Uh, I guess they share one hobby in the same aspect here. Okay. We're getting to know. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Yeah, press the button. What, why, why did I have to press it? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I've got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has... Okay. Good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Okay. Uh. That's it. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess. You can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. Alright, alright, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature. Okay. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? Okay. You? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. 
Okay. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Oh, this is gonna be resourceful, persuasive, intelligent. Okay. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Emily, new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, active. Oh. And this... where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh wow. They're just lovely, lovely, lovely kids, aren't they? Getting chilled. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's going to be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not going to feel like a I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> And there, there's Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. Oh. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Oh. You really They're really basically the same. Right Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Uh... Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Oh. Each other. Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. It buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think we got the message. It's kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, dang. Oh, crap. <laughs> what? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Okay. All right. No. Nope. Fine. <laughs> so important, I guess I can pack horse at the rest of the way, but you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. What is going on here? Okay. I only did that because I want to see how this plays out because I got a feeling I know exactly what's going to happen. Ashley has a crush on Chris, inquisitive. Okay. Okay. Yep. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Uh huh. I knew it. Something's happening there. I'm waiting for it. Something's gonna happen. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Oh. oh. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I didn't mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh, oh my god. Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. I don't, uh, um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Might as well. Nothing you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. 
There we go. And the truth will set you free! I think I'm creating more problems, actually, in this than anything. Okay. Let's see. Let's check the phone real quick. I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Okay, uh, wow, that was a heck of an end of window. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Ah! Oh ho ho, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah? But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. <laughs> I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, we're back at the doctor's office now. Let's do this one. Well, where's the 
let's do that one. Let's see, guns are bad, but knives can be worse because you never run out of bullets. Okay. Roaches are small little bugs. I'm not too worried about them. Um, okay. Not really scared of either or. I guess we'll do the clown just because, you know, I'm being signaled by other entities here. <laughs> okay. Gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. Um... Huh, let's go with that one. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Bumping up. Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay, well, that's great. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, come on. Uh, I guess we'll do that one. Oh no, I like dogs. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> Snakes, clowns, an awful. <laughs> the sun comes. Sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Okay. That was weird. This is a little bit. Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! <laughs> my whole problem is, though, the guy had a butcher knife and clothing was different. And then the guy that we saw at the cliff, he is wearing a gas mask, like an old style one at that, and he was wearing more of a rubber suit, or a leather suit, and it was a very dense suit like for chemicals or heat. That's why I'm like wondering. Yeah, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah, that feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. 
Okay, let's see. Install some cell towers up here. I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here, okay? Yeah. Oh, more or less, but it's so good to see you. What's up with him? Uh oh. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. Okay. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um, lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Okay. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Alright, let's go find a way in. Ashley's looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Oh. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna bang her. Maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off on that? Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude. Look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario, just dripping with erotic possibilities? You. And Ashley, alone at last. You've laid all the okay. You're a perfect gentleman. Now you come in for the kill. Uh Yeah, let's do this way. I don't know, man. How can you not know? But what if it's like weird? What if she she might like want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow up here. Let's try this. I don't know exactly where this is all going. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, there's an axe? How's that a clue? see here I'm just careful what I'm saying around this guy right now because he can't be trusted at all Did I do that? 
I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. Okay. Oh, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. W what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Uh. Okay, this is just. We're gonna look all around here. I really don't trust this guy. That's a black one too. Okay. Found another one. What's going on here? I'm driven mad. Murderer. Wait, what? Why did it? Yep. Okay, that was, uh, you know what? Yeah, we're so not doing the fire thing. So, no. Okay, there is nothing around here. That is... Okay. Yeah, what is this? What is this about? Wait, what? Wait, what did that say? So what are we here? What? And that's something you would have lying around for what reason? Okay. Let's see. Well, we're going to have to stop right here, actually, guys. And we're going to have to pick this up later. We are currently a little over our time set. But we will see how this turns out on the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. This is Rogue Zombie Bear. Things are getting interesting. I'm not, I'm trying to feel all these characters out. This guy, he's confident, but not confident. That's what I'm getting from this guy. And I'm not sure exactly how he's going to play out. I definitely don't trust the brother of the girls, though. That That is for sure. I don't trust him. There's something really off about him. And I and depression does do some terrible things to people, so I can see how his mind might be warped. And then there's the other guy, the Mike guy. Oh yeah, definitely don't trust him. There's he's just a sleaze ball. He reminds me of a weasel. But even weasels bite, so we'll see how this all plays out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all next time.